for as long as I can remember, Utica has and always been a hockey town, whether it had a professional team or not. The youth hockey were always full. Everybody was always talking the latest NHL team. And for whatever reason, the Northeast has adopted hockey, and Utica in particular. And, you know, hockey just excels in Utica, and I think the comments have, have shown that starting with last year. I'm Mark Caswell, Jr. I'm the Director of Communications for the Utica Comets. I spent the two years before I moved back to Utica in Bristol, Connecticut, working for ESPN. Um, there was rumors I heard of Utica potentially getting an American Hockey League team. Didn't quite believe it when I first heard it. I actually attended another AHL team's game, and I overheard two big executives talking about bringing a hockey team in Utica. And that sparked my interest. I started calling everybody I could, trying to find out information. Everybody had different information, so I decided to start a Facebook page. And when I started the Facebook page, it blew up. Had like 4,000 followers overnight. You know, it just, it just took off. And that's when we kind of broke the news to everybody. Everybody was well aware of the big secret that the American Hockey League team was coming. And there's two people behind the team. It was uh, the president of the Comets, Robert Esch. He used to play for the Philadelphia Flyers in the National Hockey League. And there was Frank Duras, who has owned multiple professional sports teams. And when they found out I was the one behind the Facebook page and I was the one kind of sparking the rumors and finding out facts, they brought me in for an interview. And right from kind of day one there, they brought me in, hired me on the spot. And, you know, I've been on the board since February. You know, this is something that provides over 200 jobs. It, it, it injects so much money into the community, whether it's buying apparel, whether it's these players who are making millions upon million dollars combined, spending money here, visiting teams, spending money here, to stay in the hotel, to eat, you know, whatever they do here, the money's staying here and it's being injected into the community. So that's that's something that's great for Utica as a whole, not just not just the Utica Comets. Uh, my name is Darren Archibald. I'm 24 left winger. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. Uh, this rink definitely brings uh, a lot of intensity and energy. Um, you know, the, the fans have been uh, amazing since day one here, since uh, since last season, and uh, you know, it's a loud building to play at, and uh, you know, we're grateful to uh, have this as our home barn. You know, we were happy to come here last year. You know, the city's been great to us. You know, everywhere we go, people are, are very nice and, and welcoming. And, um, you know, I, I definitely think the city's on the up. Um, you know, last year, being the first season, um, you know, I, th I think it's just my style of play is, is what draws them into me. And, um, you know, being a, a physical power forward who, who hits and fights a little bit, um, it's definitely the first time where I've been... Uh, recognize that much as a, a fan favorite and uh, definitely means a lot. There's always uh, rivalries and you know big games um, that, that you face uh, almost every week. Um, you know there, you definitely have to be up for those and uh, you know, we, we got a good group of guys this year and you know there's lots of energy in this building and in the room and um, definitely gets you pumped up. It was definitely loud for for both teams at uh, that dome game. Um, it was something special to play in. Um, you know, it was, it was nice to see a, a record-setting game. Um, lots of energy in, in that uh, dome for sure. The comments are great for the area because it's finally something the entire city can get behind. It's a civic pride piece, something Utica has been lacking for a long, long time. Yeah, we had the Utica College men's hockey team that set attendance records, and it was it was all fine and good, and they're a great program, but. There's nothing like a professional sports team, and you can go, you can go against your rival in Syracuse or Albany, and all these cities that have, for years, looked down upon Utica and talked down about Utica. To be able to, you know, even if it's just a silly game on ice, it's just, it's something that they can combat and do battle with, and you can get behind. And the fans have been doing it since day one. You know, we can't keep apparel on the shelf. We can't. You can't walk down the street without seeing Comets apparel. You can't walk down the street without somebody wanting to talk about the Utica Comets. So it's, it's definitely exciting to be a part of, and it's definitely exciting and great to see for the area. It's something the city's desperately needed and has finally got.